case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1937, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case Sunzinski v. United States, which centered on the constitutionality of a $1,200 annual license tax imposed on firearms dealers by the National Firearms Act of 1934. The petitioner, convicted for dealing in firearms without paying the tax, argued that it was unconstitutional and aimed at suppressing the trade of certain firearms. The lower court's decision convicted the petitioner for non-payment of tax under Section 2. It was revealed that the act required firearms dealers to register with the collector of internal revenue and pay an annual excise tax of $200 or $500 for importers' manufacturers. The definition of a firearm under the act excluded pistols and revolvers, but included shotguns or rifles with a barrel less than 18 inches and any other explosive weapon that could be concealed on a person. Each tax imposed by the act was on a separate activity and could be collected independently of the others. The Supreme Court ultimately found the tax to be constitutional and upheld the lower court's decision. The court reasoned that the act's provisions were separable and each tax was collectible independently. The license tax could be enforced even if other provisions were invalid. As a result, the court affirmed the conviction and did not discuss contentions not properly raised in the lower court. This decision underscored Congress's power to create and collect taxes, including those on businesses like firearms dealers, to generate revenue. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.